Hey, yeah, what is up, guys? It is me, I'm a Twitter Killer, bringing you a new video on Dragon Ball Idol. It is a subscriber showcase in a sense of you guys send me your roster, your team, and I will look at it and maybe see how you could improvise your game. And also, you know, give a little shout out to random people. Now, a lot of people, as you can see on the screen, a lot of people have messaged me. So we're just going to pick randomly. And then um, if this video works out well, we're going to do it again with other people. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get right into it. Hey, YouTube. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You're watching Amatu Ray Killer HD, the ultimate Super Saiyan. Hakai. For the first person that ended up being a random picker, his name is Yang. My team is currently getting Mark to five stars, then switch Kid Boo wow. with Fat Boo, then Belmod with Perfect Cell. So let's look at the team. Okay, so he's running, uh, so he said Fat Boo and then Belmod. Okay, he's got Margarita, Zeno, and Super Broly. That's already a nice uh, team right there. We do have... I mean, that's not too bad. I guess he doesn't have explosive wave, so that's probably the next thing you should do once you get Fat Boo. Unless you have Fat Boo, but who would you be missing? I guess uh, Gohan in that case. VIP 5 at 1.3 billion power with Xeno and Super Broly. That actually seems like a very solid account. I see that you're saving up some gems. All right, hoping to get into the series and looking forward to your insights and advice. All right, perfect, man. So you got Fat Boo Belmod. You do have that Kefla, which I like to see. Um, all right, so you got this. Let's see over here. All right, so for SS units, we just won't even look at that. You do have Go Tanks, which is nice. All right, so in looking at this, um, once you do get your Margarita to five stars, you want to swap out Kid Boo for Fat Boo. You don't have Evil Boo, which makes sense because you're not VIP 9. So that, I would actually consider doing that. Or actually, Belmod over Fat Boo. To be honest, I do like the type of random Joker CC that he gives. Um, also with that nice little heal, heal gain after he revives, that 4%. So I kind of would do Belmont first and then put in Fat Boo. I think that would be better for your uh, team. And then slowly, yeah, take out Cell and then put in Fat Boo. Or if anything, if you do end up getting a different tank in the time that you could do that, I would definitely swap that out. All right, the next submission is Jetfire from server 1621. All right. You are VIP... 16 because i do see vegito right there no 14 14 vip 14 gets vegito 16 gets broly okay so you are running margarita perfect cell kid boo and vegeta all right so this is what i would do i understand in your case you kind of want to have the back row I would actually swap out Kid Boo in the front, just in case if you're going against someone that maybe has Focus Fire and uh, hits Kid Boo, then this is good. But if anything, I would put Kid Boo first. Um, you have these right here. What I would do, what I would suggest, I know it might not be a lot, but you would take out the transmission Kamehameha, bring it down to level one, and then just buff up this one all the way up. Uh, this one actually does the most bleed damage compared to the uh, Planet Destroyer. So if anything, I would get Planet Destroyer to at least like 180. And then the rest, I would just put it all towards the... Um, I can't remember the, the Sacrifice Burst. So that's what it's called. Uh, Margarita is a nice pick. Uh, you have... So you do have... Okay, bleed. So in your case, you would want to make sure that your Maja Vegeta is faster than your Vegito, so then Vegito could detonate, which is actually a very nice technique. And then what you should do next, if you are looking to put in another SSS unit, 
your best bet would be to remove Majin Vegeta and put in Golden Frieza, and you should be nice and set, especially with seeing some nice heal reduction. And this is your roster right now, so you do have Golden Frieza, you have Evil Boo, I like that. Um, you got you got plenty of units. You got Belmod. You have uh, Hit Super Saiyan Four Goku Janimba. Uh, okay, so yeah, in that case, your best bet would be to swap out um, in the future Kid Boo for Evil Boo, which I really like, and then swap out Cell for Belmod. And I think your team should be perfectly fine, especially with Margarita. All right, so Michu, another submission. Okay, so you got a pretty you got a pretty set up team. Okay, so from what I can see, you have Cell Max, Belmod, Beerus, Vados, and Evo. I can see that from my video. Possibly, I'm not too sure. You do have the um, Kamehameha in the beginning, I guess, to get that nice hit bonus, especially for that three rounds. You do have okay. And I see that you're leveling up your attackers first, which is also good. So this is what I would do in your situation. I would actually remove Vados. I understand she gives very good damage reduction aura. And also that nice ability to um, get rid of some, deb uh, some, some bad buffs to you. So what I would do in this case would be remove Vados and put in Margarita. Um, you only sent me this picture, so I'm not too sure exactly who you have in the roster. So in my in my case, I would actually keep the team as is. I do like the fact that Evo and Beerus are here. I understand that you're probably going up against maybe someone that has a Gotenks, so you're just like avoiding that. So if anything, um, by the fifth round, Jiren loses his hit guarantee. So then just in case, if he goes to Beerus, then he could Ultra Instinct a few times. So I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I personally believe if you did have Margarita, Belma would actually be better. Plus, you would get the nice little heal buff when he revives, giving better um, stats or better healing to Cell Max. Now, the thing that I would do, if you were to decide to make a swap, I would actually do this. Uh, depending on who you're fighting, I would actually put your healer in third, okay? So, Silmax is going to take the most hit, your healer in third, then after Focus Fire is done, Belmod is going to take the hit, and then once Evo dies, if Evo dies in fourth, then... Beerus is going to take the whole skill damage and then going to go crazy and do extra damage. That's what I would do also. So your team would look like this. Belmod, Cell, Healer, Evo, Beerus. We have another submission by Yesaya. Okay. So your team right now, you just said that you're starting your third account. Alright, you have Miracle Trunks, Gotenks, Cell, Goku Black, and... Khalifa. So in this case, I would actually put your first ultimate and your third ultimate to level one and put all the remaining holy waters and everything into the um, high strike. Do that, get the most damage out of it. You have Cell and Goku Black. Okay. Your best thing or your best option would be to put Cell in front. Black in third. Sub Khalifa for a healer. You could potentially keep Gotenks and Miracle Trunks as your attacker, but I what I would do is have Gotenks as your off tank, swap out Black for 18, which I see that you have, and then Khalifa into a um, Jocko. It's going to basically be expensive if you have uh, Secession. So be be mindful to spend some gems, but doing this will definitely help you out, especially for anyone that is starting. So perfect sell because you have them. Jocko, Gotenks, 18, Miracle Trunks. All right, another subscriber showcase submission. Kid Buu, Vados, Gotenks, Maja Vegeta, Golden Frieza. Okay, so your typical... 
bleed not high VIP just because no Vegito. Okay, so you do have Super 3 and 3 Goku. Okay, you got Belmont Champa. Hmm. In this case, what could you do? I think your best bet would be to keep the team as is. You don't have other units that you could potentially swap in. Uh, I do see that you have uh, Blue Goku and Red Vegeta, which are pretty good AoE units, but usually AoE doesn't really do that well uh, mid-game. It's mostly like end-game where you actually see them, you know, properly do some nice damage. Okay, so your best bet, in this case, since you aren't um, a spender, I could see from this, would be to do this. All right, so you keep Vados. I like the fact that you got your Golden Freezer to 300, which means that he's going to be your main priority damage dealer which i like that um sooner or later you should be subbing out kid boo that would be your next bet and putting in a um who are you working on who could you work on um probably belmont would be a good addition to be completely honest uh, if you were to slowly rank them up i'm not gonna say you know reborn this put it into belmont definitely have some strategy to this when you can definitely know that you could get this to at least like three star god then put in belmont but by that time you might have maybe potentially some good luck in the events and then we can revisit this. But this is my opinion, what you should do. Just keep it as is. And I think you should be fine for now. It's going to be, your main priority should be grinding PVE. You know, temporal trial, all these things. And um, arena is going to be tough. But I think just grinding it out and just playing that idle version of the game should be to your, to your benefits. Team submission. I have a few ideas on who to swap Hellas out. But was wondering your opinion trunks has really high crit and crit damage okay you have high strike dragon fist and the explosive wave as your ultimates okay i like that that's not bad damage wise it's not bad i always like to put dragon fist at the end just to give some little extra skill damage um you have hellas there my question is why I understand for her for her buffs definitely I understand you get extra crit and extra crit damage and hit as well so I understand that um as an off tank she's not the best definitely not the best off tank uh you do have Myers and and trunks which I like I also see that you have Evo and fourth so if he does die then miracle trunks gets his active skill okay so you are vip 16 that says 15 or 16 all right so you have broly just in case um your best bet so you're getting crit from hakai topo hakai topo i like but is he main tank worthy no I think I think Hakai Topo is more of like an off tank. He doesn't have a ton of HP. Um, when doing a test, he has like probably the second lowest HP total. And a way you could do that is by just like going into a fight and then getting demolished, and then putting him in, and then putting in another unit, and then seeing who has, I guess, the most damage taken slash HP. Like you you could basically see from that way. Um, so what i would do i would remove hellas and definitely put in someone that is considered like a main tank um even if you put you need someone with more revival capabilities so i would do i don't think you have him but quitella would be amazing in my opinion um if not quitella then you could probably put in a unit like Evil Boo, you might have him. Evil Boo is a great option. Fat Boo is another great option, especially for nice and taunting and whatnot. And um, I usually never recommend Champa. Champa is not too bad of a unit. Um, but primarily, I would do even Omega. Omega is a very good unit. 
very solid. And I see that what is I think Hellas is three star. Am I correct? If Hellas is a three star. No, she might be four star. Four star, I believe. Okay, four star. Yeah, so this is what I would do because you have Hakai a five star. I would put Hakai in third and then Omega if you have in first. Because Hagai is going to be sucking up that damage with Focus Fire. That that should that should definitely help you out. All right, we have another submission by someone that is a little lower, which I like doing these, to be honest. I like doing this. Um, he's rocking he's rocking a pretty solid team. I see that he has Rosé in the reserves. I don't know who else he has. I haven't really seen anything like that. But he's got Rosé. Okay, on the team, he's got... Cell, Jocko, Gotenks, Khalifa, and Evo. Khalifa, though. Why Khalifa? Hmm. There could be some better options for that. I, I personally, personally, an o very overlooked unit, which does some decent damage is Togoma. Togoma does a massive amount of damage. I like the fact that you have level one, level one. I would actually remove this one. You don't really need this one. I would put in uh, instant transmission Kamehameha to get that nice little hit damage uh, or even high strike just to get that penetration. Uh, but this one I like, Th that's fine. You could leave those as is. Like I said, remove the middle one. Um, I would just change this attack to Togoma. I think Togoma is gonna be better, especially with that nice little uh, damage that it does and then evo is a perfect jocko all right just keep doing your thing keep grinding man you'll you'll do great all right and then we got one final showcase and this is mango Weiss. okay so we got oof all right this is a good one we got quitella evo topo mm. okay if you're running quitella and evo i wouldn't run topo because you're gonna you're gonna cause some damage with that because topo is going to be focus fired right away taking a lot of hits if you can kill all right if you can kill then that's good your evo is going to gain stacks you actually want quitella to die to gain those stacks and if he dies he's going to be at like around nine or ten and then if he dies then Superbone is going to get ten and he's going to do absolute damage so I would actually remove Topo. Now let me just see what else you sent. Your gallery. You have Evil Boo. I like. Belmod. You got a pretty stacked team. Alright, so you are a higher VIP level because you have Vegito. Berserk. Which I have to do a video on. I'm not I'm not entirely sure about him. I mean I like him, I don't like him. Xeno, nice one. Okay, you got Omega, Champa, Vegito. Okay, you got Super Broly, so your VIP is 16. Okay, and then you have a pick box. Ooh, this is a good one. A pick box. You don't have Jiren, or else I was going to say you could just do a sweat team. Ooh, a pick box. I love pick boxes. Well, especially this one. All right, you're you're at a pretty decent stage, but I mean, I don't think you could compete in a sense of. Oh man, I would actually do. Um, I mean, I was in Europe. Man, this is tough. I would actually suggest. I mean, you don't have beers. I feel like beers is always a win, but I was literally gonna suggest to get Super Saiyan Four Gogeta just to be a troll and run him. But I don't think you'll you'd be at that stage to get him, and I personally think he could potentially be released after. So if you were to choose a unit from this, I would actually choose Beerus, just in case. Um, definitely swap out Topo out for um, Evil Boo if you could, uh, if you have the gems to make that sub Evil Boo or even Belmod works. But I'd like Evil Boo better just because of that attack stealing. Um, but as as this team right now, I really enjoy it. I really like it. Actually, you should have you should have Beerus. Wait, you should have beers. Unless I'm going crazy. You should have beers. Be yeah, yeah, you have beers. Oh, you have the skin too. 
okay, you have Beerus. Oh, so for this one, if you don't have Gogeta, pick up Gogeta 100%. You could be a massive troll. And what you could do is you can run this exact team and just have Gogeta in fifth. And you could just like skip around and go to town. Um, and if anything, what you could do is actually put an Evil Boo right here, swap in Margarita, and just go to town. You're going to have Crit. You're going to have Attack, Aura. These guys going crazy. And then you got another off tank here. You are set, beautiful to go. And if you guys want to be in the next subscriber showdown, join Discord. And whenever I do an announcement to do that, you guys DM me your team and your roster and i will definitely help you guys out all right guys thank you guys so much i'll see you next time peace impressive